Here it is, baby. Oh, the adventure starting. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Hey, guys, what is up? CGAB back again with another episode of Trial Period, the show where we check out trials, betas, and demos, see how good these games really are. Today is one I am super excited to try out. This is Monster Hunter Stories 2, Wings of Ruin. So the trial dropped at the time of recording this last week. You guys will probably see it like on Friday, so two weeks of. Uh, if everything goes according to plan, this trial period should drop the day of the game's release should work out that way but before we get into that welcome to the new office everybody <laughs> i totally forgot to mention that um so you guys know here on well mostly on twitch has been affected but on youtube i'm uploading all week but i've been repainting the office taking furniture out repainting that bringing it back in putting up games hooking up new stuff hanging up new sound foam whole nine yards so this is the first video that we have in the new office. It's not entirely finished yet. I'm still working on a couple different things. Um, right now I'm using the old camera. Uh, the new camera works, but it's being a little choppy and framey. So I was hoping to use that for the first video. But right now it's fighting, so still got some stuff to figure out. Um, still have a bunch of me able to hang whole nine yards. But welcome to the office. There'll be a video for this. So you can see everything. But for now, Monster Hunter Stories. Like I said, this should be coming out the same day that the game releases. Um, Connor, Hobo Monkey himself, uh, has been talking about this game, he's been talking about the first one, he was introduced me to this, and he just got me hooked. Like, I was just so interested in trying it, and I am ready to sit down and test this game out. Forgive me already, because I'm going to tell you, I'm going to try to look at you guys, and I'm going to look there, because I'm so used to my camera being on my left, and now it's on my right. I think this will make for a little more dynamic shot, and be a little more appealing as far as you guys seeing my reactions, instead of like, you know? So... Let's try it. <laughs> Let's get into the game, though. So, like most games the Switch has demos for, um, the save progress will transfer over to the full game. So, I'll be starting this here. What you guys see will end up probably being my full character anyway, uh, once I have the full game. Um, and probably by the time you're watching this, I'm sitting at my desk over my lunch break playing this game in full release. I'm really excited. <laughs> so, basically, it's like Monster Hunter, but it plays like Pokemon right oh my god okay here's the thing here's the thing here's the thing you guys know if you watch soul link i always pick the character who's like character model i like more and i absolutely love the female character model more so i'm gonna go with that one. Oh my god well I'll tell you what uh this could take a minute and to get as much gameplay time as we want let's do some uh time skip editing powers okay and that was pretty easy, right? So this is Danny, D-A-N-I. Um, I went with as much blue as I could get. I absolutely love the way this character looks. Um, Connor had already played the trial, and he was talking about how he loved like the dual colors to the hair, and I love this. She looks like the freaking Jellyfish Ultra Beast <laughs> from Pokemon Ultra Sun Ultra Moon, but I love it. I love my character. Uh, and yeah, I went with the female one. I think it looks much better than the guy one. Uh, but I'm excited to get, like, armor, armor. Like, I, I don't love the flowers, and I didn't see a way of taking them off. Actually, some, some, just some, double check. Let me just double check. It wasn't, like, a... No accessories now. Okay. All right, cool. Then let's get into this and play this game. Yeah! Damn. Damn, I'm so excited for this. I mean, <laughs> Connor's been really excited, and I think he's been more excited after the fact that, like, he's kind of played... He played the first one a little bit. But, like, no one else around really played it. Um, and when he introduced me to this, I was just like, dude, it looks pretty dope. I'm in. He's like, wait a minute. Yeah, you are? You are? You want to play this game? You want to play Monster Hunter Stories 2? Oh, my God, Danny. You don't know what this means to me. Intro cutscene. A little Rathalos kites. I think a Rathalos. Is that me, Mum? DJ, get off the internet. No one cares about Breath of Wild. Am I getting a copyright strike for this? <laughs> Oh, this is really cool. <laughs> I 
That was me, it was me. I looked away, but it was me. Oh. So this, as a reminder, I'm versed in Monster Hunter where I know my way around it, but I don't know everything. I know this is a monster that Connor said the name of like nine times and I don't know its name. <laughs> Oh my god, I love my character so much. Is that the Puke Puke girl? She's about to be my best friend. Family, they don't text me all day, and then as I'm sitting down to record. Okay, it's Serathalos. I'm so glad. You're still alive. Oh, it is covered in moss. Is it just sleeping? For like ancient time years those are words it's a little framier than I thought it would be I thought I'd never see you again <gasps> baby Raphaos This thing just blowing people up. I think he killed daddy. Now we gonna have beef. So I haven't played the first game or watched the anime for this yet. Um, I'm assuming that is the Rathalos that the main character from the first game had, and now our character is going to get that, that Rathalos baby, I think is what happens. That's all in me inferring, so I don't know. <gasps> oh, it's the weak character. I don't know who she is, but she cute. What is this? Water. This is a bad sign. Your mama. Look at her, my character, I got the two eyes. <laughs> two different color eyes, just to be clear. Not like, oh my god, I have two eyes, I'm so special. Monster Hunter Stories 2. Electric Poogaloo. The little egg that, like rattles in the middle. <laughs> oh, welcome to our village. Mahana Village. 
Mahana? I like Mahana. All right, let's get started. I'm sure we're gonna have tutorials out the butt. Okay, what's up? Why did you enter the sacred mountain without our permission? Because I fucking Why? said so. A dangerous Rathalos lives there. Don't you think you should have mentioned that? What do you mean, dangerous? The Rathalos that inhabits the sacred mountain is Guardian Ratha. He protects this island. Huh? The people it injured might say otherwise. That's... That's because you raised your weapons at him. So you're saying we should stand before a monster unarmed? This is a rider's island. Brandishing weapons at Guardian Ratha is an unforgivable act. Have you all lost your collective minds idolizing a wild Rathalos? Give me a break. Uh, I'll give you a break, all right. Okay, that's enough. Knock it off, both of you. The main reason we invited hunters to our island's festival was so that we could foster a little goodwill between us. Hana's right. Besides, there are children listening. Please calm yourself. I'm the children. Uh, yes, sir. Well, then, let's listen to the hunter's point of view, shall we? Why would you call Guardian Ratha dangerous? Because we were tipped off. Raisewing Ratha, the monster with the wings of ruin, lives on this island. The, uh, the wings of ruin? Hmm. Yes. It's said that a beat of its wings can bring about waves of destruction. Hmm. Chief, do you know about the Wings of Ruin? Because I've never heard of them. Ah, yes, the Wings of Ruin. Legend has it that a long time ago, a Rathalos born in this region brought terrible chaos and destruction to our world. But, but, that's, that's only a legend, right? Who can say? In any case, our top priority right now is to determine the cause of these strange happenings. Yes, of course. Why did the ocean change color? What was that light? I love her hair. And where did all the Rathalos go? So much we don't understand. Let's organize an expedition team and survey the area. You got it. Okay. Adventure time. Come on, grab your friends. We're going to very distant lands. I got a Rathalos with dangerous wings, and we're gonna slice some kids' adventure time. Hmm. You want to join the expedition too? I keep going to read, not knowing if it's gonna like automatically do it or not. Like if it's just gonna read, or if I have to auto advance. Go. I do. Give me a monster. I don't know. This could be dangerous, and this kid only just became a real rider. Ah! I have auto advance on. Why is it not? You're worried about Guardian Ratha, aren't you? No. Let me see. That makes sense. He was your grandpa's monster, after all. There it is. Father Red was a fine, upstanding rider. He led our tribe and protected the island alongside Guardian Ratha for many years. Uh, I sure wish he was still around now. I bet he'd know what to do. Hmm. You'll join the team. Yay! Chief Gara, are you sure about this? It's a big job to dump on a rookie's shoulders. Nah, I'm a good Not kid. Don't worry, Kana. You'll go together. Kana can guide you. Use the experience to learn what you're capable of. She is in utter shock that we have to go with her. <laughs> so, I'll be a teacher? Something wrong? No way! It sounds kind of cool, actually. If that's what you want, Chief, I'm all for it. Okay. Rider class is now in session. You'd better keep up, newbie. First things first. Go change into your rider gear. <gasps> Look at me! <laughs> oh, wow. You look the part already. Meet me at the stables when you're ready. We'll start with rider rule number one. 
I'm ready. Let me go. Let me move. I'm ready. Where are the stables? Oh, give me a sword. All right, birth of a rider. An ominous red light flashes on the night of the festival. The protector of the island, Guardian Ratha, disappears. Uh, what could be the cause of these strange events? Chief Gar orders the riders of the village to look into it. So, uh, ooh, mm, excuse me. Just woke up from a nap before recording. I'm a little, uh, uh. uh. So you take your very first steps as a new rider. All right, so move. Yep, that's normal. A to talk. Yep. Quest on the top right. Uh, your progress can be saved at the bed in your house, okay? Or at any catavan stand, okay. Let's go! Oh my god! Yo, can I zoom in? I can zoom in on the map. I love this. I love this. I love this. Let's go. Everybody out of my way. I got a trial period to record. And we're about 20 minutes in with cutscenes. <laughs> Alright, I'm ready. Give me a monsty. My helmet go. Lighten up, newbie. You'll be fine. You've got Red's jeans, don't you? Not to mention, I'll be by your side. You're sure to become a top-notch rider in no time. Yeah, that's the spirit. Let's get started. Rider rule number one. Riders form bonds with monsters, and they in turn become our monsties. Which reminds me, you still don't have a monsty, right? No. And the first step is to go out and hunt for an egg that'll have yeah, I thought she was going to give me that freaking Aptonoth there. I was going to be so... I looked search. over there. I thought she was going to give me that Aptonoth there. I did not want that. <gasps> ah, hey! Big old blue bitch. But once you get the hang of riding him, he won't lead you astray. You know, newbie... Seeing you takes me back to the time when I first rode a monstie. <sighs> anyway, enough about me. There's something very important I need to tell you. Okay. Monsties are like an extension of our bodies, you know? Okay. They take us wherever we want to go, but they're not to be manipulated. They're living creatures. You could even say they're our best friends. You need to care for them. There seems to be little graphical glitches when you cut between camera angles sometimes. Okay. As long as you understand that, you're set. Here, take this. Writer's notes. Your writer's notes. Thank you. In it, you can find helpful info about monsters and all the writer fundamentals. And leaves. Try opening the menu to read all of your notes. Can I ride the monster now? Now that we've got that settled, it's time to go egg hunting. I can't wait to get started. Me either. I want to go. I want to go find a monster. Okay. So I've been bugging the hell out of Connor. And telling him I want a puke puke, which if you guys don't know what that is, it's a big, dumb, goofy looking one. He's my favorite monster in Monster Hunter. I love him to death and I want one. He said in the first like cave or area or area, I don't know how this game works exactly. Um, but he said that he found an egg for a puke puke and I want to get it. I right, press X to open the monster, uh, the, the camp menu and access your items, map, field guides and more. Uh, more of the menus function will be unlocked as you progress through the game. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Router notes contain hints and useful information. Access them uh, from the camp menu and ensure of how things work. Okay. When you're ready to go egg hunting, meet Ranmar and me outside of the village. Okay. I love little character art too. Ranmar, 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 Ranmar. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Can I run? We're going to the beach. Beach. Let's go get away. Oh, Akolo Island. The environments are gorgeous. They're very pretty. Obviously, it's like very switch, it's like dumbed down style. <gasps> Who are you? You're so cute. Ranmars. Well, that ran I don't know what the monster is called. <laughs> the thing's name was Ranmar. I keep calling him Ranmars now. Um, but yeah, obviously, it's very like low poly, simple. Um, I'd love to see one of these run on, like, a big boy console, like a PlayStation or an Xbox that does, like, big graphic quality. But, I mean, for being on the Switch, it looks great. I did not read what she said. A cave. All right. Explore while riding. Approach your monster and press Y to mount. Uh, press again to dismount. Okay. Freaking heck. I don't need to yawn. I'm fine. I'm awake. Monsty, go! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. 
See those monsters inside the den? Fighting our way past them is one way to get a good warm-up. Sorry, my camera's looking the wrong way. Oh, the Appadanaths? Oh, they're dead. Hey, suckers, you want to tussle? Ooh, ooh, that music. Ooh, again, you're not over here anymore. You're over here. So do I only fight one of them? It's an Aptanoth. Uh, these make mm, great training partners when you're starting out. Okay, let's see what you and Ranmar can do. Select fight and then use a power attack. Okay. So. Okay, so you have to do it here. Power. Time to die. All right, when you and your opponent are targeting each other uh, directly, you'll enter a head-to-head. -head. For the three attack types, power beats technical, technical beats speed, and speed beats power. Try to remember that. Time out. All right, so there's like a rock, paper, scissors mechanical to this where like each attack is stronger than another. And I guess when you pick the right one, you do the most damage. Oops. Attacking opponent that's targeting you would trigger head-to-head -head battle lines show uh, who's being targeted. Uh, winning a head-to-head -head results in your opponent taking significant damage and your kinship gauge filling up by a substantial amount. So I should kick this dude's butt. No. Oh, your enemy also used a power attack this time. It's a draw. Get him! Alright, see the battle line? That shows you who the monster is going to target next. Aptanoth tends to favor power attacks. Don't you think? Uh... Alright, so if it uses power, I should use a speed attack then. Big dummy. Sucker! Bow! I just kicked my computer. One sec. Slide that over there. There we go. <laughs> you did it. It looks like you're getting the hang of this. Good job, Ranmar. If you and your monster both use attacks with a type advantage, you'll perform a double attack. Uh, with a double attack, you can deal huge damage and avoid the enemy's attack. It boosts your kinship, too. Okay. Two of you and your monster went head-to-head -head by attacking the same op. Oh. If you and your monster went head to head by attacking the same opponent, the same attack type, it'll result in a double attack. This deals a lot of damage to your opponent. So it looks like they like she says it and then they just repeat it. So, um, can I pick what my monster does at all? I don't think so. There's also those little shapes above like the monster. I wonder if I can do anything with that. Oh baby, bye bye. It's not dead yet. Hey, it's dead. <laughs> uh, I knew you could do it. Of course. I'm freaking Danny. First battle was a rousing success. You'll make a rider out of you yet. We'll make a rider out of you yet. Look, we're getting that XP, baby. <clears throat> we got... Ooh, what was an A? We got some Aptanoth tail. Raw meat, raw meat tail. Okay. So I'm assuming then you can craft armor and stuff similarly how you wouldn't just like regular monster hunter. So the more I fight things, the more materials I get. Nice one, newbie. Seeing through a monster's attack patterns is a sure path to victory. Uh, if your HP is running low, use an herb from the item, uh, item section of the camp menu. Other thing I want to check. Uh, South Kamuna Forest is up ahead. Use an herb and let's get going. All right, so step one. Uh, settings. Settings, maybe. I'm looking for settings. Uh, options. Uh, language, no, other, uh, I was looking for fast text like Pokemon has because the text in this is pretty, pretty, pretty slow, but it does not look like it's an option. So we'll move on. Oh yeah. You wanted me to heal, uh, cause quick heal. You don't have any donuts. Okay. So on items, I want an herb and give me. All right, I'm ready. Let's go. We're going in the cave now. Everyone calm down. We're going in the cave. I don't want to die. 
Oh, we're inside the cave. Whew, we made it. Let's head to the monster's den and grab ourselves an egg. Whoa, there are monsters in the way. Uh, we got to fight them off. All right, who? Where you see my... I didn't see them over there. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Can I just jump down? Yeah! So I'm assuming you're a speedy boy. All right, let's take on some Velocipray next. Is that okay? All right. Uh, the lights on their f they're lighting their feet and way more aggressive. I'll let you handle this battle too. This is your chance to show me what you got. All right. So my guess they're both coming to me. Great. Um, I'm assuming they will use speed, so I should go with technical. Uh, I think I'm getting hit by either one, so let's just go for it. They both want speed. Bobby! Bop! Any chance my guy went to? Alright, you fought. I don't know which one you hit. Alright, looks like you took some damage. Time to heal up. Uh, select items and use... What if I don't want to use an herb? I didn't take that much damage. I don't... I'm not getting cocky. I just want to fight the monster. All right. Actually, I did take quite a bit of damage with only having like 36 health. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't wait to heal till after the attack. Oh, no, it was the next turn. Never mind. I'm just dumb. All right. Technical. You, buddy. You have asked for dead. Bow. Okay, you're dead. No, not my Renar. Don't worry, buddy. We got him. Technical. Can you technical too? No. You did something. And bam. Things are really heating up. How about using some of your kinship gauges char uh, charge to unleash a, uh, a skill? All right. Select skills from the menu during a battle to use your skills at the cost of kinship charge. Okay. Monsters automatically select an action at the start of each turn. However, by selecting monsters from the battle menu, you can order your monster to use a skill as long as you have sufficient kinship charge. All right, the skills. So I can pick charge tackle T. I don't know what the T stands for, but that takes 10 kinship. So I have 100. So I just go for an. Okay. Let's go. I don't. Oh, oh. Get all slap in the face, you big dumb, big dumb bird. Got him. Hey, a kinship always wins. All right, cool. And we, oh, okay. scale, 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 bone, scale. Okay. Very nice, very nice. All right, so that's just fight the one. There's still like three hanging around here. All right, you're starting to get the hang of this. You're almost at the dead now. Let's keep moving. And did it. Okay. So it looks like if you hit them like in an area, they'll just kind of can I climb. No. I can jump though, so I guess I could just do this. Monsty. Can't climb that. Okay. I just wanted to explore and find some items. Ugh, looks like we'll have to cross this river. It's times like this when your monsties really come in handy. These are actions such as, uh, there are actions such as jump, ivy climb, or fly that you can use when riding. The available actions depend on the monster. Okay. So I can jump with this guy. Uh, right up to the stone platform on Ramar, plus B to jump. Okay. I can do that. Yeah! All right. Velocidromes are great at jumping. Uh, and we riders are great at putting monster skills to good use. Thank you. I have to go find an egg, please. Oh, look. What, uh, what's growing here? We pick... Okay, I can read. It's herbs. Just pick up some herbs, okay? Just pick up the herbs. All right, you... Only three? Is that it? Oh, here's one. Oh, that's a sap plant. That ain't herb. That ain't a herb. All right. Can I have an egg now? No disrespect, but I want, I want another monster. <laughs> I don't mind Ranmar. He's cool and all, but he's not what I came here to dream about. Ooh, monster bones. Can I like... Hey! So I have a bit that I do a monster hunter. 
when if I find like the little uh, piles of diamonds and jewels and stuff, I'll be like, ooh, look, mining outcrop, and just totally drop whatever I'm doing uh, to go pick that up. So expect that if they show up in this game for that to happen. I looked over there again. All right, you can't give me that shot. Look at them thighs. I hope she's legal. Just look away. Don't look anybody in the eye. It's fine. Hold on. Something's here. Keep quiet and stay close, okay? Stay quiet for now. Coolie coo. Look at him, big dumb stupid chicken. That's a Kuluyaku. But what in the world is it doing? Hunting. Hmm? Some pissed it off. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> How does the egg not break? There's some sturdy eggs, ain't they? Oh. There you go, buddy. You got it. Oh. Uh, huh? oh. <laughs> Hi, buddy. I thought I was a goner. I was taking a cat nap when all of a sudden I got attacked. What, what exactly are you? You look like a feline, but somehow different. Yeah! With my wit beyond compare and unparalleled flair, you're absolutely right! I'm not like other felines now that you mention it. So the Kuliku just stopped. <laughs> Up there it is, okay. Time to kill it. How about you take care of this bumbling bird? No way. This kid's still a rookie. Don't worry. I'll be right here to lend a helping paw. Okay. Let's fight. Looks like it's time to fight on. Oh, all right. I see. Yeah, doing the cool stuff. Okay. All right. Uh, just leave all the navigating to me. It's dangerous. Stay back. Okay. So I'm pretty sure you are going for my Velasa Magasto. Would you be technical? Are you smart like that? I'm gonna go for a speed attack. Cause he's going after my monster anyway, so I should be okay. No, so I guess. Oh yeah, let's get him, team. Oh. Yo, he beat the shit out of my monster. <laughs> All right, Kuliyaku loves to carry things around in his claws. Huh, you sure know your monsters, don't you? Alright, so it used... So I'm guessing then that it used technical, so I should go for power. Even though it's not attacking me, but in case I should be ready. Yeah, so it used technical there. Come on, can I go? Oh, okay. Dang, okay, she did good a bet though. Like, she took two and she did 40 to it. Let's go. All right, time to win this duel. Yo, we are all way faster than this thing. Ba bow! I only did 16. Oh. Yes, queen, yes! <laughs> uh, let's see here. What skills do I have? I can switch weapons. We gotta deal with this monster. Okay, so... 
I don't have any other weapons to switch to, I'm assuming. So, should I go with the Charge Tackle P? Let's see what that one does. Uh-oh. What if it's going to use that rock to block all your attacks? So well, that's pretty unfortunate. Yeah, I guess we got something about... Uh, we got to do something about the rock first. Don't worry. I'll get rid of the... Oh, you'll get rid of the rock. What if you all get rid of the rock? Okay, maybe I'll... Okay. That's unfortunate. <laughs> In that case, the that weapon you're using uh, now is not going to do a lot of good. Thanks for, uh, time for a blunt weapon. Here, take this hammer. <gasps> yes! Yes! That's my shtick! I'm the hammer, bro! So I assume you can switch weapons even in the middle of battle. Switch, okay, cool. Yep. So back, so I was a little, I was a little early on my move, but I don't want, oh, oh, yes. Yes! This is what I know! <laughs> See, I use hammer in Monster Hunter all the time. That's my thing. Bam! Yeah, a blunt attack. I think this is gonna work. Keep on smashing and bashing, newbie. All right, the physiolog, the physiology. Thank you. Of large monsters may differ, uh, which affects how effective slash blunt or piercing weapons are against them. Okay. Uh, you can equip three different weapons to switch between in battle. Toggle, apps, toggle weapons using X or more skills in the battle menu. Okay. Completely draining a monster's power gauge to break it. Uh, you can receive drop items for breaking parts on the end of the battle. Okay. Did you break the rock? No. Oh, I can see. I see the health bar now. Okay. So go for another power move and try attacking a body part with different weapons. When you use an effective weapon, use it to break that part. Okay. So, oh, it said rock stampede. Hey, get him, Kina. That did nothing. All right, come on, get it, guys. It's almost broken. I'll probably break it next turn. Oh, how'd you do that? How'd you do that? I want to ride the monster. I guess I'm not ready. Target lock. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, bye rock. Bye rock. <laughs> bye, big dumb rock. Alright. Oh yeah, he was telling me. Hey, all attacks on a down opponent will be a critical hit. They're more likely to drop items too. Oh. That was so much damage. Should I go back for slashing? Best way to take this thing down. All right, it's all right. I just keep fighting. All right, that's fine. I was going back to the slashing, but here we are. Oh my god! So they're doing hundreds and fifties, and I did twenty-four. I did twenty-four damage. Okay, your kinship gauge is maxed out, and now's your chance to ride on. Okay, so ride. Hey! Yeah! <laughs> All right, riding makes your bond stronger, but be careful. You'll get knocked off if you lose too much in head on uh, head to heads. All right, so ride the monster. Powerful kinship skills can only be used when riding. Winning a head to head will raise will while riding raises your kinship level, making kinship skills even stronger. You automatically dismount after using a kinship skill. If your HP drops to zero, you will lose a head to head twice, or if you lose it a head to head twice, you'll be knocked off your monster, but you won't lose any hearts. And then double kinship skills uses kinship skills simultaneously with a battle buddy results in a double kinship skill that hits all opponents. Okay. Time to show this monster the power of teamwork. So my kinship skill. Bye bye. This is some Digimon Power Ranger looking shit, dog. That's so cool, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so extra. So I did like 300. That's like what she did in like one attack. Like, <laughs> way to go. You defeated the Kuliaku. 
Yeah. Level up? I didn't level up from that? Are you kidding me? I didn't get a lot of materials, so I got a beak, a hide, a hide, a beak, a hide, and yeah, that was it. Yo, this is so dope. I think once like the tutorial part's over and the pace just gets to keep going instead of like stop me every like two minutes, but. Ooh, was my heart thumping? Thank you. From here on out, we're going to be partners. Yeah, <laughs> partners. Run, totally free of charge. Although, if you really want to thank me, I wouldn't say no to a couple of donuts. <laughs> you know, you could just ask for something to eat if you're hungry. Oh, God. Oh, they're going to kill him. <laughs> Furball's not like other felines, huh? But hey, you got an egg out of the deal. Wanna head home? No, I don't want that egg. I want a different egg. I want a different egg. I want a puke puke. Home sweet home, come on, let's go hatch your egg. Meet me at the grounds over the uh, above the stables. Okay. And that was over yonder. You can now use the prayer pot. Okay. That's fine. Does the prayer pot give me a puke puke? Because that's all I really want. So I'm assuming I'm going to uh, cool the Aku out of this egg. Hello. Hatch my monster, please. Give me a new partner. Hmm. Excellent. You're the one who found this egg? He is. He's the little Mau Mau. Yep, that's right. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that donut. By the smell. I see. Just as Kana said, you are an odd feline. Does Homer only have four and fingers? Clearly. No quality when you see it. It's a very fine egg, I'd say. Does he only have four fingers? To hatch a great little monster from it. I wonder what kind of monster it'll be. A coolia cool. To find out. Go on, stand in front of it. Yeah, I think Homer only has four fingers on both hands. Yeah, look at that. Why? Do we all look like that? This is pretty cool, though. <laughs> it's the ceremonial dance of our people. We perform it to bring luck to a ship's voyage, or to pray that a strong and healthy monster will hatch from an egg. Whoa! Awesome moves! Now hold up your kinship stone. It will link your heart with your monstie and help it hatch. But if it's not a puke puke, what if I don't want it? Can I just like put it down and be like, Ew, sorry, I'm not your mama. Believe in yourself. You can do this. Oh my god, it's a coolie Aku! Who would have expected? He looks so cute with his big dumb head. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's not what he looked like in the other picture. <laughs> uh, oh, I could have changed his name. I didn't see that. That's. <laughs> uh, look at him. It worked. It's a cool Yaku. It is. Does he have teeth on his tongue? Oh, he's pretty cute. Nicely done. It's already accepted you as its rider. <laughs> I 
Hey, could you grow a finger before you do that? If only your grandfather were here to see this. That's a little... Oh. No, okay. No, I see you. Hi. Oh, what you doing, Ronmar? You want to stay with the rookie? Yes. This is my human now. And after everything I've done for you? Ronmar's just being honest with his feelings. Perhaps if you were gentler with him, maybe. <laughs> Oh, is that so, Mr. Hero? I ought to wash your mouth out of soap. <laughs> Come now, Kana, That's no a thumbnail. <laughs> All right, fine. After seeing how much you've bonded, I can't exactly object. Just take good care of Ronmar, okay? I'll try. You and your monsties got to work together to help each other grow. Got it? <laughs> Nice going, buddy. Just, just beat him up. <laughs> just end his existence. <laughs> right. You've got Ronmar as a monster now too. So, what should I have you do next? What should you have me do ah, next? What good timing. There's a new monster den on Rider Overlook. You'll go investigate for me, won't you? Rider Overlook, huh? That sure takes me back. Going there is a rite of passage for new riders. Your grandpa had me go there all by myself. I still hadn't gotten the hang of handling Ronmar. It was a real thrill ride, I can tell you that. All riders have to strike out on their own someday. This is your chance to test yourself. No need to worry now. Don't you think, Kana? Chief Gara is right. You may still be a rookie, but I trust you to take this on alone. Oh, and you're gonna need Ronmar to get up there. That little beastie just loves to climb up high. Thank you. I'll help too. Just say the word, buddy. Okay, before you go, it's time for another lesson. Ah. The next essential for being a rider is combining. Okay. You can make lots of items to help in the field or during battle. Just select Combine from the camp menu and mix several items together to create something new. Okay. Here, take this combo recipe and try making a potion. It shouldn't be too hard to find the ingredients. Why do you give me a whole book for that? About the quest board too. So meet me there when you're ready for your next lesson. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate it and you stay beautiful, all right? Ah, uh, okay, so over, okay, cool. Stables, uh, visit stables to manage your monsters and eggs. You can hatch eggs or change party members here. A yellow speech bubble will appear over the stall, the stable paw when you have an egg. Okay. Hatching eggs, you'll find the new monsters. Yep, we did that. Party monsters, okay. Cool. I think that's a good place to call the video. Um, I, I went into this knowing I was going to enjoy it and have fun with it. Um, it's been a little tutorial heavy, obviously, because you're right in the middle of the game. If you've never played a game like this, it's definitely, there's a learning curve to it. So I understand why it's like that. We're getting so many pop-ups as I try and talk this outro. Um, but yeah, I am really excited to check this out. I don't think we'll be doing any more like content of just like this playthrough. Um, normally RPGs are something for YouTube. I'm like, ah, you know, I could, but like that's, that's going to be a commitment because I'm going to want to finish it and then I I'll be playing this game for another like 16 years before we actually finish it. So, um, but yeah, I'm definitely excited to keep playing it. Uh, there might be a stream or two. Maybe we'll check it out. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of trial period. If you did, please do me a favor, hit that thumbs up. It helps spread the video so more people get to see it. And don't you worry. We still have some more steam next fest trial periods on the way. I have some more sitting on the computer that had to be recorded and edited. Um, but they're going to be out to you guys for sure. We got 25 coming at you. Not all Steam because Steam screwed me over a bit, but it's okay. We're going to have more of them. And if you want to make sure you catch those, do yourself a favor. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you get notifications every time a new video comes out. And I'll see you guys next time.